Welcome to Butterfly Transformations. You're with Tanisha Ali, helping you get out of your cocoon and into your wings. Join the evolution. I'm talking today about when bad things happen to good people. When bad things happen to good people, I want you to begin to, to look at those things that happen to you as an addendum, ooh, as an indicator of something that needs to change in your life. When bad things happen to good people, good people usually become discombobulated. They usually become a little bit angry. Sometimes they can become somewhat self-pitying. Sometimes they can fall into powerlessness and blame and victim mentality. When bad things happen to good people, I want you to begin to consider the following things that I'm gonna to talk to you about in a moment. When bad things happen to good people, I want you to consider that you are being elevated, okay? And what do I mean by that? When we are being elevated, it is an opportunity for us to go through a uh, phase of our life in some way that is going to increase us physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. When bad things happen to good people, it can usually happen during some of the worst times, but when bad things happen to good people, I can guarantee you that at some point you'll be able to look back on that and recognize that it was actually a good time or it was actually an event that was in, was heralding and trying to invite the good times and glad tidings into your life. When bad things happen to good people, you need to do one thing first. First thing you need to do is to ask yourself, what is trying to be removed from my life? What person, what habit, what pastime, what behavior, what pattern, what is trying to be removed from my life? Number two thing you need to do is ask yourself, what have I been resisting? Typically in our lives, there are things that we welcome with open arms and there are things that we resist, there are things we run from, things we hide from. Oftentimes when these so-called bad things happen in our lives, they are things that we have been resisting seeing, resisting shining the light of awareness on, and things that really require some level of change in our life, and we have not wanted to change those things, and so we have been resisting. Resisting in the way of making excuses, resisting in the way of being in denial, resisting in the way of just simply not wanting to see or recognize the relationship between what it is that we're doing in our life and what it is that we're creating. So you have to ask yourself, what have you been resisting? When bad things happen to good people, number three, you have to look for the lesson in those things. The lessons for you, the lessons for the people around you, and the lessons on, a, on, a, on an even broader scale as to your life's journey. When bad things happen to good people, everyone, ladies, beautiful butterflies, and perfect people, they happen so that the universe can move something counterproductive out of your life and help you to make space for things that are productive. Bad things don't happen to good people when you've been heeding the signs and listening to your intuition and, 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 and heeding your, um, your inner wisdom. Usually we get signs. You know, every coming event casts a shadow. I'll say it again. Every coming event casts a shadow. And what that means is there are usually red flags, there are usually signs and precursors to things that happen in our lives that can sort of help us to predict what is coming. And when we don't heed those signs in a timely fashion, we reap the consequences of the decisions that we have made or we reap the consequences of the decisions that we have failed to make. So find the lesson in the difficulty or the hardship or whatever it is that has happened in your life that has has you feeling as though something bad is happening to you. And number four, last but not least, the fourth thing you need to do when something bad has happened to you and you feel like you're a good person and you don't deserve it is to seek the insight and seek the blessings of all of the things that currently are in your life. It really will help you to neutralize the criticism and the blame and the feeling of powerlessness and complaint that can come about when you continue to be in the space of 
what happened to me? Woe is me. I call that uh, the whim syndrome. When you worry, I got a ladybug on my power cable. Wow. When you worry about uh, what the woe is me syndrome, when you, when you feel sorry for yourself and you linger in that space too long, shift your attention to all of the good things that you have going in your life. And, and I can tell you guys, we can be dealing with some pretty monumental stuff. I'm not talking about any lightweight stuff. I'm talking about people could be dealing with all sorts of things, but the bottom line is by the time something happens to you, you're either realizing you co-created it or you're realizing that something has befalled you that was totally out of your control. Either way, you have to accept it. And the sooner that you can accept what has happened, the sooner you can move beyond it. Regardless of what happens, to linger in the space of woe is me, for too long, you can actually begin to lose traction with your life and you can become very disgruntled, you can become angry, you can become disempowered and disconnected from your life force energy. So it's important that you begin to look at all the things that you have to actually be grateful for. These are the four things that I think you need to consider when bad things happen to you or you're giving advice maybe to someone else who feels like bad things are always happening to me or bad things happen to good people. I hope that this has somehow provided you with some insight and gave you maybe just another different way to look at maybe some things that have happened in your life and some things that are going to continue happening in your life. Because I can tell you this, we are living in amazing times. We're living in transparent times. Um, we're living in times where it's time to pay the piper. We're living in times where your consequences are accelerated and whatever it is you're doing, the consequence of that is bringing either hell upon you or is bringing uh, blessings upon you. We're living in times where people, things are speeding up. And whatever your energy is and whatever your mental state of mind is, that's what you are creating. So this is a time to clean up your act. This is a time to recognize that whatever you're doing on some level, it's going to affect you, it's going to affect your energy, it's going to affect your health, the way you think in every moment, it's going to affect you, it's going to affect your energy, it's going to affect your health. This is serious business. So these times that we're living in are cleaning us and are purging us of lower vibration. So you have to get into a space where you're welcoming the things that you need to challenge you to the next level. Tanisha Ali, Butterfly Transformations. Join me for the evolution. Keep coming back, more will be revealed. <laughs>